Hello and welcome to the Curiosity and Consciousness podcast with me, Karen Maloney. I am your host and the intention of this podcast is to help us open our minds, get curious about ourselves and to raise our vibration and consciousness levels. Through these conversations, we hope that you will go on an inward journey to discover the truth of who you are and to become aware of your own energy and vibration. We have the power to consciously consciously create our lives but we need to wake up to this fact before we can begin the process and learn the key of self-responsibility. Check out the podcast on iTunes, Spotify, Stitcher, Acast, Castbox or whatever platform you listen on and please like, subscribe and share the podcast, leave a review, leave a rating as this will help it to reach more people. Check out my website as well, Soul Power Light, www.soulpowerlight.com. Hello, hello everybody and welcome to another episode. It's actually the hundredth episode Can you believe it? I know the podcast just turned two over the weekend and the fact that I've reached 100 episodes as well, it's just made me realize how I really haven't taken a break with this at all in the last two years once I started. If there's 52 weeks in a year, I'm two years going and I'm on episode 100 It's been full on, but it's been really enjoyable and a passion project of mine and something that has been just a pure passion. I have not made a cent from this podcast. It is something I love doing and love bringing you this information, but hopefully at some stage I'll be able to change that as well for myself because it takes a huge amount of work. I'd say each episode takes about five or six hours all in between recording and editing and publishing and everything. So anyway, you don't need to know that. But here we are, episode number 100. And I have another fantastic conversation for you today. And today's guest is Tom Palladino. And Tom is a scalar energy researcher based in Florida. And scalar energy is the fundamental life force found everywhere in the world, space and the universe. It originates from the sun and the stars and chi, prana, om, mana, life force, pyramid energy or zero point energy are synonymous terms for scalar energy. Tom theorized that all energy in the universe initiates as scalar energy and that the sun of our solar system and the stars of the universe are the points of origin or the storehouses for scalar energy. He further theorized that scalar energy is instructive energy as the entire universe is instructed by this divine essence. Subsequently, all spiritual, cognitive, emotional and physical action in the universe is initiated and maintained by scalar energy instructions. And scalar energy provides order in the universe. Well, this is certainly a fascinating conversation with Tom and I certainly loved connecting with him and learning more about scalar energy, which he talks about his 25 plus years of research in this area and how scalar energy is really working with the intelligence of the universe and the consciousness of the universe. He talks about how the great inventor Nikola Tesla wanted to power the entire world with scalar energy and he shares and talks about how it differs to electricity and when we look at the benefits of what electricity has done for us, he says how scalar is the next great technology jump and maybe that's only five years away so super super interesting but not only talking about the energy he talks how it differs to western medicine and how it could be used in combination but because it is working at the level of consciousness or the level of spirit it's a non-physical non-surgical new science and he also shares how scalar energy has the capacity to break down the molecular bonds of any pathogen or virus or bacteria so it really is a super fascinating conversation and I mean, the potential and benefits and the fact that there are zero side effects from connecting with and using scalar energy. Tom says how we are already connecting with scalar energy as human beings. We are naturally already connected to the energy of the sun and the stars and 
the fact that it can support people in breaking down pathogens but it's all done remotely it's all done through a person's photograph and it is painless and easy and simple but he says the benefits are numerous not only in helping to break apart germs or pathogens but also can help to balance our chakras deepen spirituality remove toxins from our bodies increase cognitive function and just an overall spiritual upliftment so Super fascinating conversation and like that I am always so interested and excited to learn about new modalities and certainly I love everything about working with consciousness of the universe and the quantum field and that's exactly what scalar energy does so it's it's definitely really interesting to me and Tom on his website offers every single person a free 15 day trial. So that is something anyone can sign up for. But also since we recorded this conversation, Tom has kindly offered a free 30 day trial for any listeners of the show. So I have shared the link on the show notes on my website, soulpowerlight.com and click the podcast section and into Tom's episode and you will see the link there. It is really straightforward there's no obligation you can choose to opt in or opt out of more information from tom but you register and you can upload up to seven photos of you or family members or pets it is also suitable for pets and animals and they will receive the standardized scalar energy treatment free for one month And you receive daily emails as well of what is actually happening during each session. So it is super and like that, there are no side effects and the scope and the potential and the capacity of the scalar energy is huge. So why not try it out for yourself? So again, that's on my website will be the link for the 30 day trial. And on Tom's website is the standard 15 day free trial for people. So it's up to you. But check out Tom's website as well, scalarlight.com. There is so much more information there on scalar energy and on the different programs that Tom offers. So enjoy. Welcome, everybody, and thanks for tuning in to another episode. You're very welcome. And joining me today, I have Tom Palladino. So first of all, Tom, thanks for joining, and you're very welcome. Karen, it is a pleasure and an honor to know you. Thank you for the invite. Yeah, I think we're going to have a super interesting conversation today all about scalar energy and your work. So maybe explain a little bit to us, first of all, what exactly is scalar energy? Sure. I I work with what is known as scalar energy. It's not electricity. Scalar energy simply stated as sunlight or starlight. It's the initial energy of the universe. Mm -hmm. And there have been a few inventors that have been able to control, harness scalar energy with instruments. I am one of them. So I have scalar energy instruments that allow me to control and direct this sunlight. And the uh, the ability of of scalar energy far exceeds that as to the ability of electricity. So if if I had my preference, the entire world would be powered by scalar energy rather than electricity. But that's a different matter. Wow. But since you mentioned that, is that something that's possible? Yes, it is. Yes, Ah. it is. There there are great inventors and discoverers such as Nikola Tesla, who wanted to power the entire world with scalar energy, which would have been essentially inexpensive energy because it's Mm. sunlight or starlight. So what I propose in the future is that the world embraces scalar energy, sunlight or starlight, and that's your power plant. Mm. You don't need to build a power plant. The power plant are the sun and the stars. And that is going to be the energy of the future, scalar energy. Amazing. Um, so many questions that are going through my head at the moment. But first of all, I suppose I'm, I'm curious or what led you to this work or how did you come across it? You know, it, it was God that the Holy Spirit mm. led, led me into this uh, enterprise. And I, I thank God for this enlightenment. And I see how Uh, You know, the hand of God is in this, that this will one day improve the welfare of people around the world. Mm. So with this technology and uh, the eventual acceptance and people embracing this technology, we will see a a different uh, paradigm, a new living paradigm, a new living model in which our lives will be immeasurably improved by this technology. I always tell people, look at electricity, look what electricity has done. 
then imagine the world without electricity. You know, go back a couple hundred years ago mm. and look how hard and difficult life was without electricity or, or the modern day technology that we enjoy today. Well, what am I saying? That scalar energy is the next great technological jump and we will see that scalar energy will change our world, will change the course of history for the better. Wow, amazing. And how far do you think we're off from that? Maybe only five years. Wow. Maybe only five years because it's building, Karen. The world is starting to accept that there's another energy. You know, yeah. It just takes time. And, and I, I promise you, this technology is going to solve many problems. So if this is the first time you've heard of scalar energy, what some people call zero-point energy, mm. this is the first time you've heard of it. It will not be the last. Scalar energy is about to change the course of history. Incredible. Um, I'm sure for a lot of people, it is the first time they're hearing about it. And I know, well, zero point energy I'd heard of before, but I'd never heard myself of scalar energy. But like that, it just was really fascinating to me when I came across your work. And I was like, absolutely, I'm a big yes to having a conversation around this. You've mentioned electricity a couple of times as well. So then what are some of the differences or how does it function differently? I know it comes from the sun, but as opposed to even maybe some of other energy type therapies or healing modalities like Reiki or, you know, bioenergy or those kind of modalities as well. To to speak in principle, the first energy of the universe is scalar energy, which Mm -hmm. is a double helix. That's the composition. In character, it's a double helix. And in many environments, that double helix will break down into electricity and magnetism. So if you will, one helix is is electricity and the other is magnetism. My point being that in its uh, pristine state, energy is perfect. Scalar energy, the double helix. It's only when it converts into electricity and magnetism that it becomes imperfect Mm -hmm. and you have imperfect results. So I don't dissuade people from using electricity. Obviously, I use it every day. It's still part of our lives. But what am I saying? Let's go to the perfect energy, which is scalar energy, and not let's not use the imperfect energy, which is electromagnetic energy. Amazing. Um, talk to us more about it. How accessible is it for people, or how how can it support others, or how can they access it? Yeah, I'll I'll mention that people, everybody, we we're accessing scalar energy on a daily basis. Mm. Again, it's sunlight and starlight, so we are flooded in sunlight and starlight. And I firmly believe that everybody has a soul. The human soul is composed of scalar energy because it's pure light. Mm-hmm. It's it's pure divine light. And I also believe that our thoughts, our emotions, are scalar energy projections or scalar energy emanations. Many people have often hypothesize what is a thought well how can we think what is a thought what is creativity what gives rise to these instructions these impulses that we have these cognitive impulses Mm. and i i would conclude that it is scalar energy that allows us to think so all of you have scalar energy and it's right between your ears Mm -hmm. it's your brain it's your cognitive function and everybody whether you realize it or not is a scalar energy expert Everybody thinks, everybody has emotions. So this is what we're tapping into, the realm of emotion, the realm of cognitive thought. And if you could imagine how nothing can impede an emotion, nothing can impede a a thought, a mental thought, that's what we're working now. We're working in a paradigm of emotion, a paradigm of of thought, a paradigm of prayer, spiritual Mm -hmm. prayer, which is really a perfected paradigm. It far it exceeds the ability of electricity and magnetism. Wow, yeah, it sounds um, really, well, like you say, very natural to us, like we're already tapped in, but we don't know it potentially. So then how can a person access it or how can it support them and benefit them in their own life or in situations or challenges they may be facing or illnesses or disease or different factors like that? And everybody's doing that. Um, Everybody, again, prays, thinks, and and has emotions. Now, you've heard many times it's said that if you you pray and if you think a rightful thought, that that sets up a chain of reaction. And eventually, what you pray for and what you ask for is what you get. And that's Mm -hmm. true. Because prayer 
thought emotions are the instructions that you're going to inherit. Mm -hmm. And all of those are scalar energy instructions. So when you pray, when you think, when you have an emotion, all of that sets up your environment. And sooner or later, that's what you live for. That's what you inherit. So whatever you ask for, sooner or later, in some measure, you're going to get. Mm -hmm. Yes, absolutely. Um, hence the the power of being conscious and awake and alert to actually what we are thinking or doing or praying or asking for, because that's exactly what we, we get. And then I suppose what's coming up for me as well is how then is it different or maybe is it different to the quantum field? It's identical. Very good. It okay. is identical. What a lot of people say, the quantum field or the bio field or consciousness, all of those terms are synonymous for scalar. Mm -hmm. So what is scalar energy? Well, it's much more than, than energy. It is the intelligence of the universe. And many times we've heard of the quantum field or the quantum matrix or consciousness or the mind of God. All of those terms are synonymous. And with that said, you hit the nail on the head. Thank you, Karen. Um, that's that's what we're working with, the consciousness of the universe. Oh, I love that. As you were describing it, like that to me, it, you know, it was very much, I was like, hmm, this sounds like the quantum field and like that, as you say, the consciousness of the universe. So I was just curious myself. So thank you for confirming that as well. And I think, like you say, maybe a word like quantum or the quantum field or quantum physics, I believe anyway, is becoming more known. People are connecting more to it. And that's exactly what you have spoken about so far in the whole conversation. And literally what we are thinking, praying about, feeling is what we are manifesting. You know, it all begins in that realm of consciousness like that. The universe is always listening and we are powerful creators. But again, you know, are we in the driver's seat of that process or not? So I love all that that you were were saying so what kind of treatments, or I suppose it's a type of energy and energy is very healing and it brings lots of benefits to us because we are all energy as well. So then how do you see our current system and the medical approach to illnesses or disease and how it may be limited in its capacity as well? Yes, and God bless Western medicine. Um, I, I honor the, the men and women of Western medicine. This mm -hmm. is not Western medicine because it is non-physical. Mm -hmm. It's consciousness. So I am working at the the level of quantum or a consciousness level or the or a non-physical level. And with this energy, I have discovered amongst other things that we can control molecular bonds, atomic bonds. Now keep in mind the molecular bonds of, say, a virus or a bacterium are non-physical. Mm -hmm. So working with this energy, I don't work with, with chemicals. I don't work with surgery. I work with, with light, with energy. Again, it's not a chemical. It's non-physical. And I have discovered a technique with scalar energy in which I can negate the molecular bonds of a virus, a bacterium, or a fungus. Now, if I can do that with scalar light, what am I saying? I can break down the molecular bonds that hold together a pathogen or a germ. And I've proven that repeatedly. And so what I propose is this. This is non-surgical. This is not a chemical. It's non-physical. It's the mind of God or it's consciousness. And with this consciousness approach, I can change the molecular geometry of any germ, of any pathogen. So this is what I, this is the new science that's emerging. Again, I'm not trying to replace any existing science. Yeah. I, I respect Western medicine as a science. I have undertaken a new science. I'm, I am one of the few uh, proponents, I believe I am at the vanguard of this new science, which is non-physical, it's poorly understood by mankind, but it indeed is real. Mm -hmm. And with this non-physical science, we can change the molecular pattern of anything. I'm going to repeat that. Scalar energy can change the molecular composition, the molecular pattern of anything. So we have control over molecules. So powerful. And it's like that. It's like healing on the level of spirit. And again, it's well, for me as well, it's healing at the level of, like you say, consciousness and the quantum field, like that version of ourselves that exists there. But then how or 
does an element of belief come into it in order for the person to be able to integrate that healing into their physical body or does it happen irrespective irrespective very good Mm. And, and the point is this when you're working at this level of quantum at the mind of god level so to speak nothing can interfere with this energy so whether a person wants it or not we can still have a favorable outcome and we can break down, say, the molecular bond of, say, the, the herpes virus. Mm-hmm. Now, obviously, it, it helps if, if a person will, will work hand in hand with the healing. But I have to make this very clear. When you're working with fundamental energy, nothing can impede fundamental energy. Mm-hmm. Okay? Fundamental energy is, is undergirded, if you will, by the fundamental laws of the universe. And our, anybody's whim or c- caprice cannot change those fundamental laws of nature. Yeah, that's really interesting because I completely understand and agree where you're coming from. But then I always thought there was some aspect of free will that the individual would have, whether they like that accept or reject it. And again, even a lot of it is unconsciously or like that. The power of belief is so well, it's so powerful as well. And if they really don't get it, that I thought they may be able to to block the process. Yeah, yeah, and that's a good point. Can they block the process? They could on an emotional level, but Mm. keep in mind when you're working with fundamental energy, nothing can block, if you will, the mind of God. Once you're working at that quantum level, it supersedes anything. It, It transcends time and space, and and it is not subject to anything. Rather, everything is subject to scalar energy. So scale energy is the cause of the universe. That's a very good point. And, mm-hmm. and uh, it, it really is king of the universe. Amazing. Um, and then, well, it's, it's always the question, but why do you think so far it hasn't expanded mm-hmm. or reached its full capacity at the moment? Sure. Very good. Two reasons people are just not aware of it Mm -hmm. you know they they have to be educated once people are educated they embrace it and the second reason karen is a nefarious reason because there are powers out there that do not want this advancement Mm -hmm. that there are are very evil uh, organizations and very evil people that see that this would challenge their their power and they don't want it for that reason yeah like you say there's a lot of hidden agendas and money behind a lot of things as well and reasons why many different healing modalities aren't more at the forefront and kind of kept more hidden and suppressed because like you say there's always other powers and interests that are going on as well and then for people as well do they need to be conscious when they come for a session or And you can explain exactly how it works, but do they need to be conscious of what they want to heal or like that? Maybe as you were saying, it can supersede and do all healing necessary. I believe if people are conscious and they participate, that will accelerate and will promote the healing. But keep in mind that I work with many animals Mm. and, and many animals are not aware that they're being treated with a scalar energy session. So I think it's only fair to to let the audience realize how we work with people. There are no physical in-person sessions. That is, Mm -hmm. I work with everybody by way of their photograph. A photograph of a person or an animal carries their scalar energy signature. It's their quantum signature on a piece of paper. Mm -hmm. So when I work with people, again, it's always done in a non-physical paradigm energetically. And when I'm working with a person or an animal, it's by way of their photograph because their photograph carries their scalar energy force field. Mm -hmm. And the beauty of these sessions is it's painless, it's easy, and it's all done remotely by way of a photograph. Hence, it's it's very simple for people around the world to sign up for a scalar energy session remotely by way of their photograph. I do not work with people or animals. I work with photographs of people or animals. And you could say, well, what's the merit of that? Because every photograph captures energy light. Mm -hmm. If you look at any photograph, it's that of a person, an animal, a plant, or an object. And with that said, 
everything in the universe, everything has a scalar energy signature or a scalar energy character. So I am accessing a person's scalar energy signature by way of their photograph. Amazing. And uh, I imagine a lot of people are wondering, they're like, oh, my God, do I have to look my best in the photograph? Does it have to be a recent photograph or does it really matter? Very good. <laughs> Everything in a scalar energy paradigm is in the present moment. And hence, it, it's not it's not necessary that people send me a, a, a current photograph. I, many people will send me a photograph 10 or 20 years ago. Mm -hmm. doesn't matter. A 10-year-old photograph still will access your force field in the present moment. So everything in a scalar energy paradigm is in the present moment. Now, what do I mean by that? There is no past. There is no future. Mm -hmm. Everything is present. So regardless of, of who you are or what event it is, it is always in the present moment. A person is always treated in the present moment, and the event is always in the present moment. Yeah. Super interesting, and um, I'm sure lots of people will be interested or curious to learn more as well. And you'll be able to share at the end of how people can connect with you and avail of a free trial that you have as well for people. Then maybe to break it down and a bit more tangible for people of what are some of the benefits or the changes that you have seen happen for others through this scalar energy treatment? I would have to say not, not only can we break apart and, and eradicate germs, but we're also able to balance the meridians or the chakras. Everybody has seven meridians or seven chakras, and many people report that they're calmer, that the chakra balancing serves to uh, deepen their spirituality, that the chakra balancing serves to enhance their, their cognitive thinking, etc. So not only are we working with foreign agents such as germs and toxins, but we're also able to rebalance the chakras. And in, accordingly, I think we have a direct impact upon influence upon their, their soul, their thinking. So it's a spiritual uplifting moment. It's a cognitively uplifting moment likewise. And all of that spells success, spiritual health and, um, and mental health for people. And what about physical health as well? If people, you know, have been suffering, well, so many of issues nowadays are chronic lifestyle issues where there's, you know, severe obesity, cancer, heart disease, stroke, fibromyalgia, extreme fatigue, thyroid issues. You know, these are a lot of common issues that I suppose people live with on a day to day basis, which are often very much lifestyle and have been developed over a long period of time. Can it help and support as well with those kind of issues? Some of them, yes, some of them. I, I, I can't claim that, uh, that I have the ability to address every mm -hmm. illness, but I, I, let, let's take one at a time. Say fibromyalgia. How can I help people with fibromyalgia? Uh, pain, muscle pain, uh, joint stiffness, etc. cetera. Um, I believe that the ability of scalar to eradicate germs will serve to help the human body recover from arthritic mm -hmm. conditions, from muscle pain, from, from muscle stiffness, from, from joint immobility, if you will. We've seen that in many people. Many people simply, Karen, have too much uh, bacteria in their joints. If we can break apart and eradicate that bacteria in their joints, that helps some people with fibromyalgia and or arthritis. Cancer, I don't have the ability to cure cancer, but I do have the ability to destroy viruses and many viruses can lead to cancer. Mm -hmm. For instance, we have many people who've come to us with the human papillomavirus and we're able to destroy the human papillomavirus. Mm -hmm. Well, as, as medical science teaches us, approximately 95, 96% of the cases of cervical cancer in women are, can be attributed to the human papillomavirus. So the fact that we can destroy the human papillomavirus, then we should be able to prevent some cases of cervical cancer. So all of this, and again, my research is still in the early stages, all of this really portends a, a bright future for people. And, mm -hmm. and once other uh, researchers get on the bandwagon, so to speak, we can see that, that this type of science, scalar energy science, will really take off and we will be able to to derive so many benefits from what we're doing. Amazing. Um, and are there any side effects? No, and that's mm. the beauty of it. 
Yeah. Now, why do I say that without hesitation? Well, walk outside on any sunny day, and not only is there sunlight, but the stars are always there. We just can't see them. Mm -hmm. Would anybody say that you're going to have a, a bad chemical reaction or a negative side effect from all the stars in the universe? No. <laughs> why? Because it's a different energy spectrum. It's not electromagnetic. So uh, I am working once again with an instrument. It's essentially it's a miniature star. It's a miniature sun. And with that in mind, um, that miniature star, that miniature sun is not going to harm you, just as the stars of the universe do not harm you. Yeah. And something as well, you know, that you were saying, and when it comes back to some of the other bigger chronic lifestyle issues and things like that, like at the end of the day, if there's no side effects, if it's working with the consciousness of the universe, working at that level of spirit, it is going to benefit everyone on some level in my eyes, because like that, we're all our bodies are they're loaded with toxins, heavy metals, all sorts of crazy things from our diet, from our food, from the air quality and everything. And for me, any type of energy work is really helping our body to get back into its own natural ability to heal itself because the body is incredible it is an incredible piece of machine but again we've we've never been taught anything about it or how to use it and it is constantly renewing and you know killing viruses and bacteria so for me anytime anything that supports that that can help the body to perform even better is you know a, just a non-brainer for me yeah yeah thank you that, that's a good point and I want everybody to be very comfortable about this. Remember, I'm working with universal energy. It's, it, it was obviously created and maintained by God, the sun mm -hmm. and the stars. So this is not a chemical process. This has nothing to do with surgery. Mm -hmm. There's no human ingenuity involved. Working with the sun and the stars, that's, that's God. Who mm -hmm. created the sun and the stars? So you're really at the, what I would say, at, at the very uh, quintessence of the universe. Yeah. And like that, at the end of the day, we, we are all source energy as well, you know, but unfortunately yes. we've forgotten it. But I believe that's the journey of this lifetime as well is reawakening and wakening up to the truth of who we are and actually the power that we hold and the interconnectedness of it all and that quantum. And then when we get into that space and we work with it, wow, we can be incredible conscious creators and live a completely different life and just before we wrap up as well, I'm curious because you mentioned the instrument a couple of times. Obviously, you have a an instrument, an apparatus that you use to harness this energy and to project it or send it to people through photographs or that's how I'm imagining it works. But then when you talk about this instrument, is that something that there needs to be a person controlling it? Or is that something that you think or would hope down the line that people would have access to be able to buy such instruments themselves to be able to use at home? I think eventually the, there will be an industry around this and mm -hmm. people will be able to to uh, control scalar energy on their own with, with their own home built or, or factory built instruments. I'm not in that position right mm -hmm. now. And yeah. again, the, the science is still at its nascent stage. But I yes, I do have what I consider custom built scalar energy instruments. And that's why I, I can make these statements because I can control this energy mm -hmm. With these instruments, you know, you, it, it, it's analogous to having a car. If you have a car, you, you can have the ease and the comfort of transportation. Well, I have a scalar energy instrument and I have the, the, the ease and the comfort of controlling this energy. Yeah. Um, and because it is that universal source energy as well, I imagine like a lot of energies, you know, whether it's Reiki or that, that nobody owns it per se. So a person could consciously go outside and connect with it as well to bring some benefit. But obviously, it's never going to be to the same level of using like an apparatus or having a person administer it that can maybe channel it better. Is that true? I, or I would, on some level? I would agree with that. <laughs> Again, I, I want to just encourage everybody that everybody has access to scalar energy mm. through, through their prayers, their thoughts, their emotions, and, and frankly, all physical action really is undergirded likewise by scalar energy. We just don't realize that. Sadly, in academia today, we're only told about the electromagnetic spectrum. There's two energy mm. spectrums. So to, to, to get to your point, I want to encourage people, even though you don't have an instrument, you have actually something much more powerful, which is the human heart and the human mind. Mm. The human heart is a scalar energy instrument. 
the human mind is a scalar energy instrument. And your heart and your mind far supersedes my scientific instruments and capability. That's super powerful. And um, I think that is the journey of reawakening to that power as well, because a lot of us were completely unconscious to that. But yes. that, I believe, is the journey we're all here to rediscover. And one of the reasons why I started this podcast as well is to have these kind of conversations, you know, and even the name Curiosity and Consciousness is to get curious about the consciousness of everything, our own consciousness and the power that we hold, because that truth that you just shared there as well, that the reality is we don't actually need anything outside of ourselves, really. But yes, we often need them to get to an understanding and a comprehension that to know the power that we hold inside as well. So that's super powerful. And thank you for sharing that. And I know I keep saying before we wrap up, but besides the scalar energy in that, what are some of your personal favorite practices or tools that you use in your life to feel optimum health? You know, optimum health, I always try and pray and be positive. Mm. You know, it doesn't start with an instrument. I'll, I'll be quite yeah. candid and blunt about that. It starts with, with God. It starts with me. And every day I, I try and make a good day, I try and make it a productive day, Karen. And when I do that, it all flows. Mm. It all flows. Regardless of the world situation, um, I don't get caught up in that. Yeah. I concentrate on my relationship with God. And I, invariably, I have good, productive, happy days. Yeah, I love it. Again, super powerful and prayer and that and harnessing that connection, that relationship and really knowing it intimately is super powerful and bringing it with us through our days and everything that we do. Tom, it's been such a fascinating conversation and I've really loved talking to you today and learning more about scalar energy. And I know I, for one, am certainly more excited to delve deeper. And I know I've signed up for your free trial as well, which you've kindly offered and that you offer to people. So please explain more how people can connect with you, maybe share your website or avail of the free trial as well. Thank you. We, we have a website, scalarlight.com. Visit the website. Anybody in the world can sign up themselves as well as their entire family for 15 days of free sessions. And during those 15 days, we'll balance your chakras and we'll eradicate the toxins and pathogens in your body. So please, it's free. There's no obligation. We're here to help you and we want to prove that this works. Visit the website scalarlight.com and there's a free trial for everybody in the world. Mm, amazing that is super and um yes as always i will link everything as well on the show notes and have links to all your work and social media platforms and that and definitely i encourage people to go to the website scalarlight.com i know i've been on it and you offer loads of programs as well for people whether you know addictions or hormones or all in one packages so it's really super interesting and like that i mean with a a free trial why not give it a go you've got absolutely nothing to lose tom thank you so much for your time today thank you for the work that you're doing and thank you for sharing today as well god bless you for your effort thank you karen thank you for tuning in to this week's episode be sure to subscribe to the podcast so you get notified every time a new show is released Get more information on this week's guest as well on my website www.soulpowerlight.com.